In this clip, we'll take a look at Jump Lists, a new feature in Microsoft Windows 7 that are designed to make it easier to find what you want, and easier to perform common operations associated with a program. You can think of Jump Lists as little program-specific start menus. Taking a look at the Start menu, you'll recall there used to be an item on the right called Recent Items or My Recent Documents, and it used to be the one list that was used for all programs. Here in Windows 7, there's now a separate list for each program. To see these individual jump lists, we just hover over one of our recently opened programs. Notice the items that appear in the jump list on the right are all associated with the selected program. Plus, here in the jump list of recent PowerPoint files, let's say we want to continue to have this easy access to a presentation file even as this jump list changes over time from opening and working on other presentations. We'll hover over an item in the list, then click its pin icon to pin it to the upper portion of the jump list. We can also remove it or unpin it from the pinned list. Another way to access jump lists is from the taskbar. Hovering over taskbar icons gives us a live preview of open items for that program, but a right click on a taskbar icon pops up that program's jump list. Here, as on the start menu, we can pin and unpin items to the list. We can also right click an item and get a menu of options such as open and print plus the ability to remove it from the list. Windows 7's new Jump Lists on the Start menu and on the taskbar. 